Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we're putting a timing belt system into this 2009 Subaru Impreza. And we're using the ASIN TKF006, which is the water pump, the timing belt, uh, instructions, hydraulic tensioner, and three idler bearings. I like the ASIN kit because the bearings are all made in Japan. I always recommend this kit uh, for whatever year, whatever model car or Subaru you're doing. Now one thing I noticed right away with this car is looking at the interior of the motor compartment, everything is wiped off and super clean. I think the owner of this car takes really good care of it. You can tell by everything that's going on here. Everything is clean, there's actually a shine on it. It's a really nice car, it's got 151,000 miles on it, 2.5 liter EJ motor. Uh, we're gonna have to drain the radiator fluid. So there's a tab right here. That push, and then that opens that up, see that? And we'll look at them a little bit differently here. This tab, you just push that in and that reservoir comes out. I'm using my new pliers to take these off and it, it actually hooked it on the lock there. Now we're gonna go get that one. So they got rid of that idler. And you just gotta walk that off. I'm gonna disconnect the battery at this time. So you can see that that Subaru AC belt is a stretch fit belt. So there isn't any tensioner on that. I'm gonna get a new one. And then we got a crack cover we'll have to fix. All right, let's get going. Before I go too nuts, I should probably see if I can fit this in there. And it does, it goes on. Okay, that loosened it. And these pulleys just come right off. I mean, they're really nice. You don't need a puller, nothing. You just wiggle them off. Look at that, that's pretty neat. So what I'm gonna do is once I get this cover off, which is that bolt, then I'll time, I'll run these pulleys all to time and then start taking things apart. So we'll try and repair this. Okay, we're gonna time the motor. We have the mark on the engine itself right there and then that other mark down there. The angle's preventing us from seeing it pretty good. So you can see right there, our, we're lined up. Then we move over here. I've always laughed at this one because they say, here's the mark, and you line it up with that plastic notch. Huh, just line it up with that. Over here we line up the mark with the seam where the cam and valve top matches on. Right there, boom. If I were gonna be reusing the belt, I would make a mark here, I would make a mark here, and I'd make a mark there. That way when I put it back on, I'd put it on right. Those are 14 millimeter down there. Let's see if we can get it with this. Oh, wow, that was tight. It is really rough. You can feel the play. There is oil on top of this. So it was either coming from the engine or it's starting to leak on that cylinder. There are six 10 millimeters, so there's one, two, three, four, five. What's that other one? Uh, it's gotta be right there, it's right there. So they're kind of tucked away. It's hard to see them from way up here. Gummed up or stripped up or something. Oh no, there she goes, one. And I have to take off thermostat housing. So, oh yeah, you know, 
What's the job out here without spilling some antifreeze on the floor? Oh, it's, it's, can you guys see that? So guess what? If I remove that thermostat, guess what's gonna happen? Whoosh, geyser. Yeah, 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 I should have took that lower radiator hose off. Oh well. We're reusing the thermostat. Here's the new gasket. It's a metal gasket. Then here we have a new thermostat gasket. It's a thermostat gasket, it's got the groove in there. So when you put it in, it actually goes right in that groove. That way it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere when you put it in. And then this little vent, always to the top, because that's where your air is gonna be at the top of the system. And then in here is our brand new rebuilt water pump. And it's from Japan. That's, that's a good a sign to have it from Japan. And then that'll seal. This little dimpled area is what crushes when you tighten up the bolts. You'll crush that little raised end. You don't need any RTV, any, any uh, gasket maker. And that's it. So I'll get the hardware for that and then we'll get ready to put it in. All right, and then this little rubber gasket goes right here. Fits right in, nice. Just want to make sure these screws go in by hand pretty far before you put any kind of power to them. I've already verified that our timing marks are where they belong. And then on this belt, you have a mark. And then you have this double mark. And sometimes uh, there's arrows that tell you what direction. And then you have this mark. So we're just gonna put it on there. We'll go over here first. Kinda weasel him in there. And we'll line that mark up with that pulley. Let me take a couple of bulldog clips. So these bolts get torqued down to about 30 some foot pounds. Okay, so I'm making sure I'm lined up there, there, and at that notch. They want 29 foot pounds on that guy, so we just back it off one from where we were. That's right on the mark, and that's right on the mark. So we're looking really good. So now I gotta put the cogged pulley in. I keep calling them pulleys, they're actually idlers. So that guy there, I have to kind of hook this under there and then push that up. It's time to pull the print pin. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna rotate the motor a couple times. Okay, so we are timed here in the mark, there in the mark, and there in the mark, and straight. So now we're gonna turn it over a couple times. Just gonna start turning it over. And then we'll get the marks back here and we'll reevaluate how our time looks. Okay, so now this, the mark, once we get up there, okay, so there's the mark on the, cam, on the crank, there's the mark on the cam, and there's the mark on the cam. So they're, they're timed, they're, we're, we're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna try and repair this broken uh, timing belt cover. This being open like that, that just allows contamination to get in there, salt in the winter, water. This is gonna be kind of tough right here, but found an old license plate. So we're just gonna put that on there. I wanna make sure I get enough coverage. Okay, this is, see here's, oh, you know what? 
I could probably cut this. If I go a little bit, favorite a little to the top, I could cut this and fold this. Okay. So that'll go. <laughs> and guess what I did? I cut it, so now this has got to be on top. Because I can't do any of this, it won't fit. All right? So it goes that way. So I hope she doesn't mind having 576. Well, 567. Could be like a poker straight. So if I look to, this is recessed out. I think it's gonna be fine here with clearances. I just, uh, I have to verify what that is. I don't know, that's weird. They got that, that's almost like the way that timing, oh, so that was pushing against the timing belt. So this was broken in. So the timing belt came around here and wore that groove in, holy moly. So it was pushed in probably that far. I'll just verify that nothing's gonna hit. Those rivets won't hardly be in there anyway. So I think I'm gonna rivet this on and then verify and then go around and caulk this all up. Oh, that's broken. So I think what I'll do is go through these broken spots and hit some, drill, drill a couple holes to pull that in. So that one pulled it right in nice. So we'll hit another one, maybe right there and get that tucked in, but at least we're gonna have this won't be in and rubbing. And I'm probably gonna go through with a little bit of a hammer, brace on the other side and just tap these all kind of flat. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Perfectly repaired, shiny, shines like diamonds. So I had to use my impact gun to get this off, but I see they have the four holes, so I made this, so I got four pins that fit into there. And then you can see them line up there. And now that will hold it. So then I just put a pipe or whatever in there and I can go through with the wrench. So that will be good. Okay. Oh, if anybody remembers when I did that Subaru, engine rebuild I'll, I'll put a link in the description below um, when I went to tighten this I ended up hitting myself right in the face with the torque wrench the video that because I'm not showing the valve cover gasket replacement because I've already got that on a different video I'll put that in one of the links at the end of the video if you're interested in seeing how the valve cover gaskets get replaced because you have to jack the motor up so I'll have a link to one of my videos that I've done that on. Huh? Who thinks this piece of conduit will be able to hold up to 150 foot-pounds? Let's just take a watch on that thing. Okay. So 
So we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna go like this. I wonder if this conduit's probably gonna bend. I can almost feel it. Oh, wow. Oh, I could hold that pretty easy. I could hold that all day long. So this 2008, well, it was manufactured December of 2008, Subaru Outback Sport gets this belt. It's a stretch fit belt, and we're going to stretch fit it without any tools. Or maybe some. Now I need my little piece of cardboard. Where did that go? Okay, so right here, we're going to put this guy in. I'm going to try and... Get this guy where he needs to be, yeah. And I did use my piece of cardboard. It went around with it. And I'm gonna look here for any damage. And there is nothing. That is beautiful, no damage. All right, let's get this belt tightened up. Everything, you just got to make sure it's in the grooves, in the grooves, and that's not the right size. So now we are looking up from the bottom. So you can see the blue, that's the new gasket. And then we had to put a new ground strap on. We did the same thing to the other side. So you can see the blue. Let's see if we can see it in there a little bit better. There you can see the blue color. And then you can see again, the new ground strap. So we've got all that done. We are not leaking. I just have to put this one panel on, but I want to start the vehicle up first. We fixed the timing belt cover. We fixed the valve cover gaskets. We put in new spark plugs. This car sounds so good. So we've got a new AC belt, new timing belt, new idler pulleys, is really nice. This motor is really in good shape. So we're doing really good here. This is really a wonderful little car. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of What's Next Garage. This cute little Subaru Outback Sport is out of here.